Now, solar eclipses are a rare phenomenon. There hasn't been one in the United States since 1979, but total solar eclipses are even rare. On August 21st, and I'm excited about this, we're going to witness the first in 99 years. In Nebraska, we've got a great opportunity to witness it and photograph it. So how can you get the best shot? Today I'm joined by photographers Ken Sloot and Dave Henry to find out. Gentlemen, good morning. How are you? Great, Dave. How are you? Oh, great, Mike. How are you? <laughs> Doing well. uh, fantastic. Ken, I want to start with you. Can you give us a little bit of background on what we can expect from the eclipse? What's going on here? Give us a rundown. Gladly. On, on August 21st, the moon is going to pass between the Earth and the sun for just over two minutes. And that's called a total solar eclipse. Yeah, Dave. How much has photography changed since the last total solar eclipse around these parts? I mean, it, it's come a long ways. Well, and it's been 99 years. Uh, but it's going to be the most widely photographed and viewed eclipse in the history of mankind. We've got people flying in from all over the world to watch the eclipse. And uh, Nebraska is one of the key areas for people to watch the eclipse. I know you're in Omaha. You're only an hour away from uh, totality. Uh, so it's changed quite a bit. Yeah. And, you know, photographers are really embracing this. Like you said, it's going to be the, one of the most photographed uh, eclipses in, in history. So I guess what is Canon doing and, uh, with, with, with photographers to help capture this eclipse? Because Canon do, is doing something special. Uh, they, they certainly are. I mean, they've really embraced it. Dave and I are working with Canon to produce a series called A Total Guide to Totality Solar Eclipse Photography where we've provided and we've created 18 different blogs. We're out there teaching seminars and workshops so that people can get directly immersed into this and come out with, with great experience so they can go through all the moves that you're going to have to do in a very short time period. In fact, one of our workshops, Dave, isn't that in Omaha? Yeah, we're going to be in Omaha on, on July 22nd and 23rd with Rockbrook Camera. As a matter yeah. of fact, right down the road from your station, mm -hmm. uh, teaching how people how to photograph the eclipse so they can uh, contact Rockbrook Camera and get all the information on that. Yeah, I'm going to try to get to that because I'm taking the day off work uh, in August for this eclipse. I'm taking the family down there. And, you know, I'm not a professional photographer, uh, particularly still uh, photography. I'm not, I don't know much about still photography. What tips do you have for the average person out there with a camera on how to capture this moment? Well, the most important thing to remember, Mike, is that we're going to be photographing totality uh, in this eclipse in the hottest month of the year, middle of August. Mm -hmm. So regardless where uh, people are in the United States, it's going to be hot. So make sure you take water, make sure you take sunscreen, wide-brimmed hat to keep the sun off as best as possible. But the most important thing from a photographic standpoint, the eclipse is three hours long, mm -hmm. but totality is only two and a half minutes, right in the middle of that. Mm -hmm. So what you don't want is to have the camera die because your battery died. So take an extra <laughs> battery with you. Uh, also make sure you're using a quality camera, a camera with a big enough lens that's going to give you a sun disc the size in the frame that you want it to be. Yeah. But from a safety standpoint, the most important thing to remember is use the LCD screen on the back of the digital camera mm. to frame the subject. Never look through the viewfinder. Always use the LCD screen uh, to frame the subject. It's the safest thing to do. No, that's a great tip. Uh, what, the camera right behind you, that's a, there's a big lens on that thing, right? Is that about the size of the lens you need or can you get away with something smaller? <laughs> No, that's an 800 millimeter uh, yeah, long Canon lens. That, that literally is going to uh, fill the frame about half the size of the frame of the sun. Yeah. Uh, but uh, there's a great little camera that uh, you can use a little uh, power shot camera, the mm -hmm. SX60HA, uh, with a solar filter on it. The most important thing to remember is make whatever camera you use, make sure you have a solar filter on the front to protect the camera. All right, gents, you are coming to Omaha uh, to talk about all these type of things that can help photographers and um, it, when, it, when it comes to safety and how to capture that moment of totality, where can our viewers go for more information on this? Well, the information is listed right at usa.canon.com slash eclipse. And there's guidance there that people can register for our wor workshops and seminars, but we've got plenty of information up there to educate. Yeah, if you can't make it to the seminar here in Omaha at Rockbrook, uh, just go to the website. A lot of tips on there as well. Guys, thanks a lot, and hopefully we'll see you uh, later this month. Very good, Mike. Thank you. I'm looking you. forward to seeing you, Mike. You betcha. Guys, take care. Kelly, over to you.